There were once 30, now there are only two teams left in the 2018 Major League Baseball season. The Dodgers and the Red Sox are set to face off in a titanic World Series that brings two of the most historic franchises together. I'm joined by Noah and Luis to break down the exciting fall classic that we're about to see. So Noah, going to you, what is it going to take for the Dodgers to win this year? The knock on the Red Sox all year was the middle relief. However, in the playoffs, they've been very, very good. So I think that they need to get the pitch count high against the Red Sox starters early. And their hope is that the middle relief just goes back to their old ways. If, they, if the starters go long, they really don't have a chance. If the relief is, continues to be this good, they still really don't have a chance. But I think their one hope is they need to get the pitch count high for those starters, Sale, Purcell, or Valdi, the right. rest. I'm going to have to agree 110% on that. If the Dodgers lineup could work up that pitch count early, get them out of the games early, get into that weak bullpen, which has been the weakest part of the Boston uh, Red Sox team this entire year, they're going to score a lot of runs. And with that timely hitting that they have been having in this entire postseason so far and last year's postseason, they will be able to win games. And another thing I would like to add on is that they need their ace, Clayton Kershaw, to be consistent. With him consistent, they're going to be almost unstoppable. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to look at the X factors for each team. Start with uh, you, Luis. For Boston, what is their X factor? Their X factor is definitely Chris Sale. Uh, he didn't pitch too well in Houston in game one because he had a belly button ring infection. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's none of my business. Uh, hopefully he's all better. And if he can get going for game one and get the series and the ball rolling in the World Series, they're going to have a fun time. I'd have to disagree with that, actually, because the Red Sox basically destroyed the Yankees. I mean, and the Astros, really. It was pretty dominant. And Sale didn't pitch great against Houston, and he pitched once against the Yankees. So that shows that they can win without Chris Sale, which we thought was not possible for the postseason. So I would go with the X-Factor being Nathan Avaldi. He had two great starts in each series, and he came in for relief, which was the big thing. Like I said, the middle relief has been very good, and that's been the help with Porcello and Avaldi giving that eighth inning relief and um, I think he's the X factor. If he can't give those great starts and come in and help, then I don't think they'll be able to do it. Yeah, Nathan Avaldi has been tremendous for Boston this year. You saw him shut down New York and then, you know, what he did against Houston continued that hot trend. So mm -hmm. now looking over at the Dodgers, what is their X factor? How can they use this to beat Boston? I mean, this is an obvious one, but I got to go with Kershaw. If you don't have an ace against this Red Sox lineup, you, you're not going to win the series. You don't have a chance. The Yankees didn't have an ace. Houston got one very good start or very, pretty good start. Um, from Verlander, and if Kershaw can give two good starts and possibly relief later in the series, they have a chance. But if you don't have an ace, you don't have your work horse, you don't. I don't think you have a chance. I'm gonna agree with that too. Kershaw, the ace, he's gonna have to shut down that Boston lineup, and if he can, the Dodgers are gonna have a really good chance to take this one home. And Justin Verlander had a couple good starts, and he only won one of them. He had two starts, and he had, I, he gave up four runs in seven innings. But it was at the tail end of his start when he gave up the three-run home run. And if if Kershaw could replicate that kind of start that Verlander had in game one, they're going to be able to win a couple games in this uh, series. All right, guys, we're running out of time. Before we go, who's your winner? Start with you, Luis. I hate to say it because I'm a Yankee fan, but I'm going to have to go with Boston. All right. I got to go with my Sox. The one thing that shows a championship team is when the players that let you down are playing well, Jackie Bradley. I think they're going to win. Well, there you have it. That's the end of this postseason block, but stay tuned because the World Series is starting tonight. When I come back, we'll be talking some college football, so stay tuned.